when you're done working on a page and you're ready to uh, make it a file that you can actually use in for printing or for in a uh, some form of digital format whether that's a PDF or a CBZ format or CBR or whether you're going to put it on a web page you're probably going to want it in one of the common image formats perhaps the most common is JPEG or JPJ or JPEG and uh, either of those will uh, be good formats they're pretty lightweight for the most part and uh, we'll let's see how we can turn like a multi-layered item into something like that so actually I'm just gonna put down a layer with some paint and then just to show also text we need to include uh, that, that, that I want to show that that will be included so I'm just gonna write the word word okay that's fine and when we're all done we'll probably save it control save I'm just gonna call this uh, test yes because it doesn't matter they're both tests that we just created to delete okay so we've saved it as a clip studio paint file but we want to export it and save it as a jpeg we can actually save it as a jpeg just pressing file save as and changing the format to jpeg and i'll show you what happens when we do this so I look in the file where it is saved. Here's the original Clip Studio Paint file. It's 2.43 megabytes. Here's the JPEG. And if you look at the size, it's actually 4.6 megabytes. And that's because we didn't change the quality at all. We included it at the maximum quality. And when you're using a JPEG, the purpose of using it is that it's kind of lightweight, that you can kind of degrade the quality and still maintain the image to a large extent. So this, we didn't do that at all. We have the full dimensions and the full 100% quality. So that's kind of the problem with saving it in that way. So let's go back to the image. And instead of saving it as, instead of doing save as, what we're going to do is go to export single layer. And that's going to basically flatten all your layers into one layer and one image as a JPEG. And the only difference, though, is I'm going to call this uh, test export to differentiate it and save it. The only difference is, though, we get this dialog box that lets us make changes. And with just a few small tweaks, we can make sure that we get a much smaller image size. So we don't have to get like a 4.6 megabyte file. I try to get my files down to about one megabyte or less, if possible per page, but um, it really depends on how you're using it. We want to make sure text is selected so it will include the text and unless you want any of these other things, don't check them. You know, we want this on full page. This quality setting is really going to affect the size of the final file, so I find that turning it down just to 90 or even 95, you can get a much smaller file. I'm going to try 90 at first, or even 80. You can push it as low as you want, but the lower you go, the worse the quality is going to be, and it'll start to be noticeable after a while. It really depends on if you're using gradients or other things that kind of you need to maintain a, a degree of quality. But uh, the lower you go with this number, the smaller the file will be. So that's kind of a trade-off you got to kind of work around with. If you are ex exporting this for the web or some other digital format, keep it on RGB. If you are changing it to, you know, if you're changing it to print, CMYK is what you want. And you can change these settings further. If you want the size to be the exact same, you can keep it, or you can scale it down. For example, it was pretty large before. What if I change this just to 50%? That will also, that's also a way of reducing the image size. Illustration and comic are, they're going to affect um, how things kind of scale when there's tones and when there's a vector line. So I usually always use illustration, but you're welcome to play with both and maybe you'll get a better result. So this is one of those things where you just try and try them and see what looks better. But I usually find illustration works better. I usually put this at preferred quality and then hit OK. So it's going to export it and make those changes. And then let's see what happened. 
So here's our test export, and it's only one megabyte. So it's it reduced it by about twenty to about twenty percent of its former size, which is pretty incredible. And for the most part, I don't think you're even going to notice the difference. Here's the high quality one. Here's the low quality one. So I don't see a difference. It's also going to depend what program you use to open this, because this uh, photo viewer may may kind of approximate things. So you may want to actually use the program though that you're going to be opening with, and see how it looks. So that is how you export a single page in the program.